Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Michelle. Welcome to another installment of Project Strike One. We're here at the beautiful U.S. Steel Yard, home of the Gary South Shore Railcats, located in downtown Gary, Indiana. Beautiful ballpark. Yes, we get a quick sneak peek at what it looks like before anyone else comes out. Indeed, just to get everybody caught up a little bit, I was selected to throw out the first game situation pitch at a Gary South Shore Railcats game on May 7th. That's uh, student at uh, school day. Uh, it's an 11, 10 a.m. start, and we're looking forward to it. I'm going to be standing on that pitcher's mound right there and throwing into that uh, plate right behind us here, 60 feet, 6 inches. What do you think? Can I get it there? Yes, I think so. And you're going to have a roaring crowd of thousands of children here to cheer you on. Well, they said there were 6,000 people here for this game last year. Again, it's field trip day. And uh, this year, I think we'll have 6,002 because you'll be here and, uh, and, and my mom will be here. So we'll have 6,002 people here this year. But a beautiful ballpark. Uh, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to come out and see a game here, but it's a great spot. This is just a wonderful stadium, and we're looking forward to May 7th. Um, big thanks to the Gary Railcats for offering me this opportunity. Um, try not to let them down. Anyway, we're going to have a very special guest join us here in just a minute. Yeah, so stay tuned and see who that is. Stick around. Hey, Tom and Michelle, back with you one more time. We're here with Brian Flenner, Brian, General Manager of the Gary South Shore Railcats. Brian, thanks so much for having us in. Tom, thank you. Michelle, thank you for the opportunity. We are really looking forward to that big game coming up here in May. It's going to be amazing. No team is doing anything like this stuff. Best of luck, Tom. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Well, first of all, Brian, thank you so much for the opportunity. This is like a dream come true for, to, for any kid who played baseball. I grew up playing baseball and always dreamed about being a professional baseball player. So now I actually have the opportunity. About 40 years too late, but the fact of the matter is uh, you made it happen. I really appreciate that. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, Tom, a lot of people don't know this. I quit playing baseball in sixth grade. When those guys started throwing the baseball faster than I could see it go by, I'm like, I think I'm going to stick to basketball and running for myself. Excellent. Now, Brian, this is your first year with the uh, Gary South Shore Rail Cats as general manager, but not your first year with organized baseball. Tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, I appreciate that. So, I got, fans, don't hate me. I'm a, I'm an Ohio guy. Got recruited to make the to make the transition here to the region. We, my family and I, live in Valpo, and uh, I've worked in sports now for about 20 years, and had the opportunity to work for some very wonderful organizations. Found my way to minor league baseball here about six years ago. Worked for the Akron Rubber Ducks, the Double A affiliate for the Cleveland Indians and had the opportunity to be mentored by two very smart guys, Jim Fander, Ken Babby. Guys, thank you again so much for the opportunities you've afforded me back in Akron, led me here to with this opportunity here in Gary, Indiana. So you are the general manager of the Gary Railcats. Tell us a little bit about the excitement of having that position. Oh, my goodness. Well, exciting is the way to describe it. No day is ever the same. It's uh, constant challenges every day in a very good way as we're trying to bring fantastic family fun here to northwest Indiana is, is our goal. Yes, we've been here to see several games, and it's always an enjoyable time. So, Brian, uh, 2019, what's in store? What do you have planned? Some new, some exciting new things here. Again, it's going to be all about the fans. Fantastic family fun is the culture that we want to create here and continue to build on the success that uh, fans have come to expect. We've got, uh, we've added some fireworks shows. So we have 12 fireworks shows this upcoming year. We got a really cool bobblehead giveaway coming up called uh, Legends Never Die. And we're really looking forward to Art being with us. Uh, Art was the gentleman who played the babe in uh, the movie The Sandlot. He is from Gary and uh, he's been kind enough to agree to come and make an appearance so fans take a look check out our promotional calendar on our website find out when that date is that's terrific and once again uh, our game or or my game as yep, i call it is, is may 7th and that is school day yes very much so so we do something here uh where we bus in and work with uh, area schools to bring their kids here to the stadium uh between the two games we're expecting probably six thousand seven thousand uh kids and they get to come here and just have a nice time that's terrific, and uh, tickets are eight fifty, and that includes uh, what hot dog, hot dog, chip, and a soda for the kids that day. And it's really just a nice day as a reward. A lot of schools use it as a way to thank their kids for you know behavior or attendance or something like that. But it's just about them coming to the ballpark, having some fun, and seeing a strike. Absolutely. Well, tickets are available for that game. Again, that's May 7th at 11.10 a.m. Tickets are available at railcatsbaseball.com. So get your tickets. Bring, bring family out here. We're going to have a great time. Brian, thank you so much for the opportunity. Tom, thank you. Michelle, I appreciate the opportunity. You're well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Until then, find your strike zone.
Hey everybody, Tom Bilek and Michelle Piskel with you one more time here at U.S. Steel Yard. We're here with Noah Simmons, head groundskeeper here at U.S. Steel Yard. Noah, thank you for having us. No problem. Thank you guys for coming out. Noah, talk a little bit about what your functions here are as a head groundskeeper. Main job, taking care of the field every day, making sure that the playing surface is good for our players and what they want to see out here every day. Well, just looking around, it's absolutely beautiful, isn't it, Michelle? Yes, and Noah, I see you feverishly working back here. Tell us about what's happening tonight. Two local high school teams coming out here tonight to play. Uh, so we had a lot of rain over the last couple of days, so we're just trying to get ready for the two high school games going tonight. Well, it is looking fabulous. It's going to be a great night for baseball. Now, Noah, you asked me how I wanted the mound prepared for uh, my debut here on yes. uh, May 7th for uh, uh, school day, and I said if you could move it about 10 feet closer to home plate, uh, that would be great. Is that going to make that I happen? Actually, I actually thought about moving it about 10 feet back. <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted to take you to the test to see how good you really are. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. When are you going to come out here and start practicing a little bit? Well, I do have a baseball here today. Uh, I've got my uh, my ball glove out in the car. So if uh, if you want to catch for me, you have, if you got uh, some heavy duty, we, we, we have somebody here that'll catch for you. Absolutely. Okay, do they have a suit of armor? <laughs> he was a professional baseball player at one time. So. <laughs> okay. Well, I'd love to come out here and work out. This is a really a dream come true. But uh, just looking around the field here, you've done a great job here in preparing the field for uh, uh, for the games here this week. Got high school games here this week, right? Correct. Yep. Correct. Yep. And then the uh, Railcat season starts uh, a little bit later on in May, and you're going to have it all ready to go. Yep, absolutely. Opening day is right around the corner, so we're excited. Great. Noah, thank you so much for taking some time out. I know you're very busy. Thanks again. Yeah, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, Tom and Michelle signing off here from U.S. Steel Yard. This is a beautiful spot. Yes, and don't forget, watch May 7th. We may even have some live Facebook footage for you. Excellent. Thanks again. Until then, find your strike zone.